Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to discuss about foliate trap. So before going to details of what is foliate trap and what causes foliate trap, first we should know what is the active form of folic acid. So what is active form? Most of the B complex vitamins they are not active as such, but they are modified. They are converted into their biologically active form. So we call them as coenzyme forms. So folic acid also has one biologically active form or coenzyme form that is tetrahydrofolic acid. So this folic acid serves its functions in the form of tetrahydrofolate. And what are those functions? The main function of folic acid is it plays role in the one carbon metabolism. And again, what is one carbon metabolism? One carbon metabolism is nothing but the metabolism related to one carbon units. So one carbon units are nothing but the compounds that contain only one carbon. For example, if you take formyl, methanyl, methylene, methyl, formimino. So all these compounds, they contain only one carbon. So these one carbon units, they are transported by folic acid. So this active form of folic acid, that is tetrahydrofolic acid, acts as the transporter of these one carbon units to the site of synthesis. For example, purine and pyrimidine synthesis. So there it requires one carbon units. Those are carried by the tetrahydrofolic acid. So these one carbon units, they interconvert among themselves. So they can be interconverted except one. So in this reaction, you can see the first reaction formal tetrahydrofolate is converted into methanyl tetrahydrofolate. Methanyl is converted into methylene tetrahydrofolate. And methylene is irreversibly converted into methyl tetrahydrofolate. So when you see the reaction 1 and 2, these three compounds, they can be interconverted. But once those are converted into methyl tetrahydrofolate, that cannot be reconverted into the remaining three forms. So here, the significance is, once methyl tetrahydrofolate is formed, it has to be converted into its active form, that is tetrahydrofolic acid. So this active form of folic acid has to be regenerated. So that regeneration from the methyl tetrahydrofolic acid requires the help of vitamin B12 that is cobalamin. So this cobalamin accepts methyl uh, group from the tetrahydrofolic acid that is methyl tetrahydrofolic acid to form methyl cobalamin. And this methyl cobalamin again transfers its methyl group to the homocysteine to form the methionine. Now these two reactions they are clinically significant because in the first reaction when you see it is marked as star. So this reaction is important because in the deficiency of cobalamin tetrahydrofolic acid cannot be formed from the methyl tetrahydrofolate. So folic acid is trapped in the form of methyl tetrahydrofolate. So that's why it is known as folate trap. So deficiency of cobalamin leads to trapping of folic acid in the form of methyl tetrahydrofolate. It is not converted into its active form that is tetrahydrofolic acid. Now another significance is which is marked as hash. Here you can see methyl cobalamin is converted into cobalamin. So here during this conversion methyl cobalamin transfers its methyl group to the homocysteine. So that homocysteine is converted into methionine. So normally this happens but during this deficiency of cobalamin methyl cobalamin is not available. So that homocysteine cannot be converted into methionine. 
so whenever this reaction fails now the levels of homocysteine are affected they are elevated in the blood so increase in levels of homocysteine in the blood is called as hyperhomocysteinemia so this hyperhomocysteinemia is very risk factor for the myocardial infarction so it's a very dangerous molecule lethal molecule than the oxidized form of the ldl so that's why these two important are very important uh, with respect to the vitamin b12 now normally this methionin which is formed is converted into sam acidinosyl methionin which is again converted into acidinosyl homocysteine and uh, during this conversion a methyl group is released and that is used in the mechanism called as transmethylation so from acidinosyl methionine acidinosyl homocysteine adenosyl group is released and that leads to formation of homocysteine so this homocysteine is again converted into methionine with the help of methyl cobalamin so these two reactions marked as star and ash are important and they depend upon this cobalamin so this is about folate trap and one more the significance of homocysteine with respect to the deficiency of cobalamin thank you